Hey everyone, it's me Oishi. In this video, I will show you how I made this dress that I'm wearing right here. It's a little similar to the last dress I made, but obviously the print is very different and I added some more things to it. I also didn't drape this one, I went straight onto flat pattern. So I'll show you how I do that and I hope you enjoy this video. Bye! I chose this pink floral cotton fabric. I absolutely love it. My mom got it on her trip to Bangladesh when she went. It's really soft and I wish I had more prints. These are the pattern pieces I created from my base sloper. All I did was mark the pieces and then trace it onto another paper. I wanted to add some fullness to the top piece, so I added some slashing and spreading, as you see here. And this is the back piece. I literally just cut the top part out. And here is the sleeve. It's basically a long rectangle with a curve on both sides that matches the armhole opening. Now I'm cutting out the pattern pieces. The top bodice piece that has gathers actually needs a base pattern that doesn't have gathers which I forgot to make, so I just pinned the slashes and cut one of those out on fold. For the sewing, I started by sewing down the pleats on the front base first. Now I'm gathering the slash and spreaded piece like so. Now I'm attaching those two pieces at the neck and then later I will sew all around it. Now I'm attaching it to the bottom bodice piece. I gave it a top stitch and now it's all clean finished. Then I sewed up the back darts and attached it to the front. For the sleeves, I hemmed the bottom and then with a zigzag stitch, I added the elastic. And then I sewed up the sides and added it to the bodice. Okay, we're halfway done. Here's a quick guide on how to make a circle skirt.
After I'm done with that, I attach the skirt to the waist. Now I'm making a simple lining like this. It will help if the fabric is see-through and it will also hide the raw edges. Now I'm just hemming the bottom, sewing the back opening, and attaching the zipper. I used grain to finish the back neckline. For the finishing touches, I added this wide embroidered cotton trim as a pleated tear. I cut a little piece of it and added it as a trim on the top part as well. I mixed in this crisscross trim as well. Lastly, I added a little bow I made out of a silk ribbon. And that's it! Let me know what you think of it. I really like how it turned out. I think it's really like comfortable and this fabric is just so soft. And I think it will be great to wear it in the summer. So yeah, let me know what other kind of videos you want to see from me and I'll try my best to make them. Bye!